Hey guys, it's Mario from thewoodfather.com and in today's video this is the first part of a series on building my bandsaw. Um, it is made out of plywood, so we'll speak about that later on. Uh, the design is from woodgears.ca, so Matthias Wondell's design. You know, I bought it a few years ago, I've been putting it off for I think two and a half years nearly. So it was good fun to finally get in and start building it. Um, it did take a while, so the first this video is going to be about building the frame up to a point and then in a couple of weeks I'll release the second part of the video which will bring it up to this stage. Um, it's working out really well so watch and hopefully enjoy. Here's the recommended frame layer design from the plans. Uh, knowing I was going to use plywood and likely lose some strength I thought I might be able to make it from solid C-shaped panels instead of short lengths and gain some strength back that way. So I designed a C-shape which was as close to the same size of the original frame as possible, however it ended up being about a centimetre shorter in height so that I could fit all six panels on the one sheet of plywood. Um, however the mouth of it is the same size as the plans and the back's a little bit thicker so that should help for strength a little bit as well. I knew I'd be flush trimming with the router at some stage, so I made a master template to use. Um, this is made out of 6mm MDF, and seen as I had it, I used this template to lay out all the lines on the plywood. I wanted straight cuts as much as possible, so I did as many cuts as I could on the table saw. Um, for any angled ones, I used the jigsaw. So now I've got six of those C-shapes cut out. Um, they've still got to be routed together, which is why they're, they're all still a little bit off. But at the moment, I think it's coming out okay. I'm still happy with it, I'm gonna keep on going. Um, so I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is start cutting out all of the, the parts for the frame, the strips and all that sort of stuff. And that's gonna come from the offcuts of this plywood as well. Having one straight edge on each of these offcuts meant that I could slice them up easily enough and use them for the frame. All but two of the frame lengths came from these offcuts. Uh, for the longer two pieces, I found some scrap wood that I already had lying around and used them instead. Now, you've seen people cut wood to length, so there's no need to watch me do it here. All I did was trim them on the table saw. I spent a bit of time on the table saw just sort of fine-tuning each C-shape and cutting it as close to the line as I could, just to make things a little bit easier when I was routing so I wouldn't have to remove so much. Some of the C-shapes require notches cut in them to accept the frame, so I nibbled all of these out on the table saw. So 
So the first dry fit's come out pretty good. I've got a few parts that I need to cut to different lengths. I must have just written down the wrong measurement or something. Um, but that's nothing too much. So I think it's ready for me to start gluing up the C, the C frames. Um, and I'm going to do it into three groups of two. And then we'll see what happens. But so far it seems to be coming out pretty good. And I know, I say this in most of my videos, but I really need to go out and buy some more frames. And rather than risk not having enough clamp pressure, I decided to use screws as well to squeeze each panel together all over. Um, so screws everywhere and then clamps on top. And after I did the first uh, glue up like that, I figured that I could do both of the others in one shot and just clamp them together to dry. Once the glue was perfectly dry, I think it was about two or three days later actually, um, I scraped off all of the squeeze out and removed all the screws. So in next week's video when I finish building the frame, I'll spend a bit of time talking about why I chose to use plywood and what my reasons were basically. Um, at the moment it seems to be working out just fine. Obviously it hasn't been tested in use, but it seems strong and stiff enough, so I'm happy with it. Um, I might be wrong, but we'll find out once I go a little bit further on it. So hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you next week.